Hey Tom Alsop here from tpatennis.com In this video I'm going to show you how you can improve your footwork and allow yourself to adjust the different shots that are going to come your way throughout the course of a match. Now the first thing I suggest you do is get comfortable at hitting off both legs. So learn how to play open stance, forehands off your right leg, close stance off, off your left leg, same on the backhand, close stance, open stance, learn how to play off both legs. Now I'm not going to show you why or when to use open stance forehands and backhands versus close stance, but for now, just have the coordination to allow yourself to play off both legs and feel comfortable doing so. It's going to be really useful going forward that you're able to use both legs. Now the most important thing right now after that is once you play, you know, let's say you play an open stance off your right leg, I want you to think about getting your non-hitting leg off the floor. So you play close stance, right leg comes off the floor. Play open stance, left leg comes off the floor. Same on the backhand. Okay? Even if you don't feel like you have to move because you've lined up the ball perfectly, get used to getting your non-hitting leg off the floor. It's going to, one, help your body to flow together, work together so you can hit the ball harder, you can recover better, but you just have that timing because everything is now working together. It's also going to allow you to make the mid shot adjustments which are really important. You can maintain your balance throughout the shot. There's one thing being balanced prior to the shot, that's fantastic, you're in the right place, you're balanced, you can hit it, that's great. But it's more important to be balanced mid shot because you can't always set up for a ball there's a lot of moving going on in tennis. You can't just stand still hitting balls. And if you're able to make those mid-shot adjustments, it's really going to improve your balance. You're going to be able to flow with the shot and everything's just going to work together. So imagine you line up for a shot, that ball's a little bit far away. Rather than reaching, you allow your body to just work together, make that adjustment. Balls come at your body, rather than getting jammed, you just move your feet, and you flow with the shot. I want you to think about it like you're a dancer. If you're a good dancer, which I'm not, but if you're a good dancer, you have an understanding of how your body works so that regardless of what song comes on the radio, even if you've never heard it before, you're able to dance to it. It's the same with tennis. This isn't rigid footwork patterns like do this or do that. It's having an understanding of how your body works so that regardless of what shot you, you face with, what situation you're in, you have that understanding of how your body works so that you can move and you can flow with the shot. I'm gonna give you a few examples of me hitting right now, but I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend.
Now, if you're a parent, player, or coach, and you'd like any advice, either over the phone, online, video analysis, or on court, please feel free to contact me via tpatennis.com, or you can use this number right here. Thanks for watching.